I'm going to demonstrate how to install a PD soft link on a riser without the bumper and how to tack down the tab of the slink so that it doesn't come out and get entangled with the strain line or anything else. You need the slink, your riser, the lines, super tack, a needle, scissors. First thing you do, feed the slink through the lines and then we're going to assemble this to the risers, passing it through the riser. I'm going to demonstrate one and then you just repeat it for the other three risers. Pass it through a second time. Take the end of the slink, pass it through the hole below the slink tab, open up the end of the slink, pass the tab in its entirety through the end of the slink, pull tight, and then position the tab so it's inside the riser. I like to keep the tab as far up to the top as possible. Gives the slink the room that it needs to be on the riser and not be stressed by being pulled down toward the bottom of the riser. And position it in the center. Take your needle. Make sure the needle doesn't have a scar on it that could damage the riser as you're putting it through the riser. Take your super tack, pass it through the needle. I'm going to start just on either side of the uh, center line of the type 17. And I make sure that I go through the riser and then through the slink tab and out the other side. When I get to the back side, I want to go just on the other side of that center line. I'm trying to make the tack so it goes uh, horizontal across the riser. It's easier to cut and pick out later that way when you have to change slinks or canopies on a riser. Pull it out the other side. Make sure that I've gone through the tab, which I have. I'm then going to tie on this a double overhand knot. Like such. And then a single overhand locking knot. Like such. Then I'm going to hide the tails. To do so, take your needle and tack pass both ends through the eye of the needle. I'm now going to take this needle I'm going to go right next to the knot but only through one layer of webbing and then out the side like such. So now the tails are hidden inside. I'm then going to take my scissors and I'm going to I'm going to cut the tack right at the edge and now you have a tail that's inside the riser. The slink is now assembled correctly to the riser. I have the tab tacked down and the tails are inside so it has a uh, so it's a clean tacking. And I'm ready to proceed with my other three risers.